Hey, um, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. It's part of my um, Ionic Capacitor series. Uh, in this one, I'm focusing on the video upload, which I did with React a week or so ago. This week, I'm incorporating it with uh, Vue.js. So, um, once again, hope you enjoyed the video. Source code is in the comments below. Please make sure you click the like, I mean the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Thanks. Enjoy. So we're going to hop right into this. Um, I've already created the base project with the Vue CLI, and then you need to add the following uh, packages to get everything going. Okay, so we're now in the main source code, and the objective here is to use this uh, video plugin, record some video in this first phase. The next phase of the video, we will upload it to Firebase, similar to the one I did on React. So um, check out the channel to see the React one if you're interested in React. So first, let's get this project set up to utilize Ionic. So we need to import the uh, Ionic library from the Ionic view um, library, which is one of the libraries that I loaded previously. I'll take this time to remind you once again, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribers really help with the algorithm and help get the content viewed. All right, so we have loaded in the Ionic library, and now we need to use view use for the Ionic library. And let's uh, spin this thing up, see what we get. One of the um, nice things that you can do to get it to, to get everything to work with the Ionic serve commands are to just create your own version of what Ionic's looking for. They're looking for an Ionic build and an Ionic serve. They'll come in handy later when we try to use the Ionic commands to um, deploy the application um, directly using Capacitor. So all I'm doing is saying Ionic colon build, which tells it to use call the Vue CLI build, and then Ionic serve to call the Vue CLI um, service to serve. Um, so that's set. So what am I doing? All right, I need to replace the build. Okay, let's go. Now let's find, see, now I can just type Ionic serve. I don't need to type Ionic, I mean, I don't need to type view or yarn run serve or any of that stuff. Uh, oh, yes, the other missing thing here is we need to create the um, Ionic project file so that Ionic knows that this is actually a project. And so the way that you do that is you create this Ionic.config.json file. And inside of the file, you just give it specific tags that Ionic's looking for. Once again, Ionic view is still in beta. So that is why we're going through all this. Um, eventually this will all be integrated just the way React is. But there's a lot of folks that seem to want to um, hop right into view now. So that's why I have this content here. So what you need to do is you need to give it a name and then you just need to set the type of, to view so that Ionic knows and as you see now, when I uh, run the attic serve command, it uh, finds the appropriate um, uh, services, uh, not services, commands to run inside of the NPM, and it, it, it fires up. Uh, I missed another um, requirement. Um, the, v, um, the Ionic router is packaged in the Ionic component, so even though we aren't using a router, we do need to install um, the router because it's a dependency. So we'll just NPM install that. And that should get us running. All right, now we have the base view app going. And now let's continue the process of adding all the essential requirements to get Ionic to work properly. So let's strip out all the stuff we don't need. And then let's, let's start to add kind of the basic Ionic tags. So this should be old hat for most of you Ionic folks. We need to wrap everything with an Ionic app. We'll put a header in. We'll add a nice little um, title on the top of this. And of course, also, always remember you have the iron header and then you have the toolbar and the title goes inside of the toolbar. Um, We're getting some lint errors because we have components we don't need. Components are removed. And now things are starting to look a little bit better. Okay. Let's straighten it out to make sure that everything's uh, clearly visible. Let's add the title. And oh, we are missing the CSS. So there's the core, there's the, the core CSS files that you need to um, get the Ionic style that's appropriate for the platform. Because as you know, Ionic will style it appropriately for iOS, or if you're running on Android, it'll style it appropriately also. Um, next, all of the content needs to be inside these Ionic content tags. So let's add these Ionic content tags. Tags. We're going to start at the top by creating a button, and that button will respond to a click. And that click will call the method, and that method will load the, excuse me, the view, not the view, the Cordova 
video plugin. I forget the actual name of the thing that I'm that we're about to use, but that's the basic idea. We'll just put some padding around it to make it a little look professional. And then now let's start adding the methods. Um, so the first function that we add, as I said, is the one to actually take the video. In this first video, because it's going to be a two-part series, all we're going to do is we're going to validate that the plugin works. We're going to record a video and we're going to console log out the output from the plugin. And then in the next video, we will, I think we're going to incorporate a, I think I wrote a view composition API hook to upload the Firebase and we're going to integrate that. So these are the basic um, requirements for the options to call the plugin. This can all be seen in the documentation. Um, there are links in the bio, uh, sorry, there are links in the comment uh, to the plugin that we're using and the GitHub repo, which explains all these options that we're using. Um, we are using async and await here. Um, this call to video capture to capture the video is asynchronous. Um, I, I prefer async and await now to promises. It took me a while to get used to get the hang of them, but I, I, th I think they're pretty cool to use. So that's what I stick with. All right, so we've set up the options. Um, let's And uh, with async and await to catch the errors, you have to wrap it in a try catch. So we're gonna wrap in a try catch, not do anything special with that. We're just gonna log out the error if we hit an error. Uh, it looks like I'm not calling my plugin correctly. And it looks like I have not imported my plugins either. So let's go to the top. Make sure you're inside the script tag. Let's, we'll just, I'm going to cut and paste this so that we don't have to go through too much. Um, let's just paste them in here. Um, those are some types that we aren't necessarily going to use because we're not using TypeScript in view, which we can. I will probably do a video later where I'm just everything's in TypeScript in view just to show how it can be done. Um, we don't need them, so now let's get them out of there. So we've commented them out. We have our call to capture the video. We have our options set. We're going to console log out the file name. Um, now let's, oh, we're missing a dependency. So let's get this dependency in here. What else? Um, Here's another dependency that's missing. Let's follow the instructions and do this npm install. I mean, this you guys won't have to run into this because I will upload all the source codes. You'll have a functioning product, I mean, project to start off the bat with. Did I not install this properly the first time? Let's try and install it one more time. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, it's installed. Now let's run npm serve again. Okay, and we're getting the Cordova error, which means that everything's good, except you need to run this on console. I mean, sorry, on device. So now let's uh, fire up our uh, capacitor command. See what's complaining about. Oh, you need to do the build the first time. So we're going to use live reload, which will allow us to modify the web coding for it to automatically be redeployed onto the device. Um, so we need to run the Ionic build first, which we've now done. Now we can run the, um, the, Ionic, the Ionic capacitor run iOS, L for live reload, and the external. So here we go. I clearly cut out some of the uh, weight that you have to get this thing to spin up. But... Um, we are now spinning it up. The bill failed. I need to set the proper signing and also give it a name because I'm certain there's a bazillion Ionic, IO Ionic starters. So let's name this something a little bit more unique. And I'm going to use my local um, signing. And now let's see if we get better results on the build. Okay. Now we have our phone is up. We are running. And capacitor is up and going. Now let's try to, to record a video, see what we get. Come on. Okay, asking for permission. Permission, and now we'll just record some of the screen. See that it's recording. You see how it stopped. Not yet. All right, record a little more, stopped it. 
I'm going to say use video and you can see there in the console and Xcode there is the output of where it dumped out the file information. So we know that it recorded properly. So what we've seen is we now have the ability we've taken a regular Cordova plugin and we've integrated it into a Vue.js app and we've deployed it onto your phone. Um, what we're going to do now is we're just, since you don't, so you don't always have to stare inside of Xcode, we're just going to take the results of the um, successful call, which will give us the uh, media file information, and we're just going to print it out to the screen on device. So like I said, you don't always have to look in into your X, eh, into your Xcode console to see that your application has successfully run. So we'll wrap it in the in the pre tag, and we will JSON stringify it so it can dump out. The file names would be kind of long; you won't be able to read it all, but at least you'll know that something was successfully working. Okay, and, and you know, of course, we are going to have to deploy this back onto device. But since we're using Live Reload, it should just automatically recompile. And now let's pop up our phone again. Uh, let's record our video, and you can see it's still running. And we're getting our file output. And now you can see the file output is displayed on device. So thank you. Please like and subscribe. Hope you found this beneficial. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Bye now.